scientists are calling on governments to prepare for any eventuality as catastrophic weather around the world is expected at the end of this year. Climate models from around the world are warning of possible emergence of an El Nino phenomenon at the end of the year, a type of warning in parts of the Pacific Ocean, which, as The Guardian explains, could increase catastrophic weather events around the world during uh, the year. And as reported by the British newspaper, some models increase the chances that the phenomenon will take on extreme characteristics in the last months of this year, calling it a super El Nino. Such a scenario translates into very high temperatures in the central Pacific region around the equator. The last time the planet experienced an extreme El Nino phenomenon was in 2016. The global temperature broke all records with the contribution of man-made climate change and the result was floods, droughts and epidemics. Risks and caution? Australia's National Weather Service said on Tuesday that all seven models it had reviewed, including those from Britain's, Japan's and United States Weather Services, showed sea surface temperatures would reach highs, heights consistent with the El Nino phenomenon until August, but both the agency and climatologists warned that forecasts during the Southern Hemisphere autumn are not as reliable and should be treated with some caution. In any case, the agency concludes that there is a 50% chance of El Nino occurring by the end of the, of the year. And what does an extreme El Nino look like? One of the features of the phenomenon is a rise in sea surface temperature of at least 0 0.8 degrees centigrade, that's 33.44 degrees Fahrenheit, relative to the long-term average in a region of the central Pacific Ocean at the height of the equator. Extreme El Nino events translate into an increase in region temperatures of 2 degrees Celsius, that's 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Several forecasts suggest that temperatures could reach those Heights by October, with scientists again urging a caution reading for their early conclusions. It's time for the next big one. Dr. Mike McFadden, researcher that at the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, told The Guardian that historically El Nino events occur about every four years. He stressed, it's time for the next one. However, forecasts for the intensity of El Niños showed large discrepancies from huge to weak. He explained that powerful El Niño events tend to occur every 10 to 15 years, so it would be very, a very unusual for the planet to experience one for more after the strong events of 2015 and 16. And he said, however, nature has a way of surprising us when we think we know it all. And he said, we must be prepared. The really big El Niño events affect the entire planet with extreme droughts, floods, heat waves, and storms. If it happens, we should be prepared. However, it could also be weakening, weakening, weakened, and we should carefully and uh, we should be careful and prepare for all eventualities. Catherine Gunter, climatologist at the agency, told the British paper, "It's time this time of year. The forecasts are dire, but we are seeing international climate models agree." on their predictions of El Nino level warning. The agency is also monitoring temperature developments in the Indian Ocean, where there is a slightly increased risk of developing conditions that tend to cause drier conditions in southeastern and central parts of Australia, intensifying the effect of El Nino. As the scientists explained, in the case of Australia, the intensity of El Nino does not necessarily coincide with the intensity of its effects, but he said that during El Nino, we typically see reduced rainfall in eastern Australia during winter and spring, but also increased temperatures in the southernmost two-thirds of the country. So that means drought and heat, right? And obviously forest fires. Now these types of conditions increase the risk of fires and heat waves, he said. Studies have shown that a global temperature continued to rise. The likelihood of extreme El Nino events also increase. In Australia, El Ninos are intensifying the risk of drought heat waves and wildfires in the east of the country while increasing the risk of mass bleaching of the Great Barrier Reef. Around the world, El Nino has caused record temperatures in the past and has been linked to floods and landslides in Central America and the absence or delay of monsoons in India. The most powerful El Nino phenomenon recorded this century, which lasted from 2015 to 16, was linked to outbreaks of epidemics around the world 
from disease such as cholera or dengue fever. When will we know for sure? McFadden and other scientists also warned that in 2014, there were predictions of powerful El Nino events that initially appeared to be disproved, but a year later, the strongest such phenomenon of the current century actually began, as pointed out to The Guardian by Dr. Angus Santoso, an expert on Pacific climate change at the University of New South Wales. Since scientific predictions became more reliable in the 1950s, he said only three extreme El Nino events have been recorded. From, 18, from 1982 to 83, from 1997 to 98, and from, 90, uh, from 2015 to 16, some scientists believe that the El Nino phenomenon of 1972 to 73 can also be characterized as extreme. And in addition, he added that we, would, we should prepare for the scenario of an extreme El Nino, but also that by June the models will be much more accurate. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.